Hello everyone, welcome back. This video will be the third part of the developing managed transactional apps. So we have started one travel application in, to, in order to develop that application, we have created our basic tables. On top of these basic tables, we have created the interface views and today we will create the projection view. So you can see till now we have worked on the database table on on top of the database table we have created the CDS views or we can say the interface view and those interface views again we have connected with the different interface view to get the all kind of the informations and on top of this interface view today we will create the projection view. Before creating the projection view, we will discuss little bit theory what is these are the projection view, why we need these projection views and what is the different kind of projection views are there and which kind of projection view we need for the wrap applications. Let's get started. Currently we are developing this particular application for two variant we want to develop. The same application should be work for the processor as well and same application should work for the approver as well. So, so till here processor and approver we can use the same view but on top of this view when we create the projections or of the, our data model or, or, or projection of the, our behavior definition which we didn't create it yet but we will gonna create soon those two application work differently. So we have to create the service specific thing. For example, for the processor should be able to create, update and delete the travel instances and booking and booking supplement instances. But the, the another guy who is approver who should able to read the application and just approve and reject the uh, read, read the travel and should the able to approve and reject the travel based on the processor entered the entities. So these are the two things. So that is the reason we say projection views define the service specific. Once the one service is created for the processor and one service will be created for the approver. So it will be the service specific and we are denormalizing the underlying data model. Denormalizing means the in the underlying data model there might be the 12 fields or 15 or 1500 fields. We might need only the 5 or 10, 7 fields. So that we just we whatever we need from the, our base model those only we will be going to get from the from the projection view we will define the projection view on top of the our base entities or interface views which we have created those those in those projection view we will just some of the fields we will consume but in this case we might consume all the fields it might be case we have to need we need all the key, all the fields or we might need some fields only so that is the purpose of the deem normalizing means the reducing the number of fields reducing the number of services for example projection in behavior definition we define everything create update delete approve reject everything but when we create the projection for the processor application that time we will give them give him the create update and delete things and when we create the projection for the procession just we will give the approve and reject option not the create update delete options so that we will con control at the projection layer not only that we define the ui annotation so till now we didn't define even single UI annotation over the base layer. So though all the UI annotations value help calculation and defaulting the values that we will define at the projection layer or projection view. And we can add the new read only association on the projection view to display the additional info. So for example, in the base views, we have defined everything, but everything means whatever we need uh, commonly in the processor for the processor application and for the approver application we whatever commonly needed for some example for the processor application view we need some we want to display some extra information so that is not needed for the approver so in that case if this is the kind of scenario we can associate the projection view with some other entities as well and we can uh, we can read the data from the some other entities as well but most important thing you can only read the data you can't modify you can't do the transactional thing on those 
additional association which you are going to create on the projection view that we will discuss in upcoming slide as well when we discuss the syntax of the projection view but this is very important thing so new so that is the reason i have written the new association entities cannot be accessed transactionally in the projection view whatever we add the additionally in the projection view additional associations those will be not access transactionally mean those can't be created deleted and updated just that will be used for the read purpose so that is very important thing the element we can rename the element based on the service request as i told you in my initial video suppose the same uh, customer a uh, same field can be used as a vendor customer or some other things so in the in one service application we want to give as a vendor uh, that particular description in another service it should act as a customer so in that way we can redefine the name of the, our fields in our consumption layer so we can give the different alias name it is not possible to just a new persistent data element obviously we should use we can't use new persistent data view that is the same thing what we have uh, discussed here it suppose we are adding the new association field and though those can be cannot be persisted on the database table means it can't be saved uh, it just be used for the read purpose not for the persisting means saving on the database we can't create some uh, field at the projection layer then that should be saved on the database table that is not possible only read we can do if we define some new field in projection layer we can't uh, we can't change those fields and save on the database that kind of things we can't do at the projection layer so this is very important things some of the points which i want to discuss about the projection layer the next slide annotation propagation how it will happen so that is very important thing whatever the annotation you have defined on your base view interface view those all will be propagated to the your projection view but one most important thing suppose this is very important thing so that is the reason i written annotation that are defined in the projected entity projected entity means our base use interface use we are calling them projected entity all the elements whatever we have defined in the projected entity or in our interface use in between those all the annotation will be propagated means will be inherited to the your projection views that is very completely propagated to the projection view but the one condition suppose some can some element you have defined suppose in this is our root view travel in this case i didn't give, took my example some uh, root view is there this is interface view where we have defined the total price and currency and we have uh, we have established the relationship between the currency and total price using the amount currency code equal to currency code but what we did in the projection view when we define the projection view we have changed the currency code name to the currency code which we have given the different alias name so customer uh, this service can under this service need the different alias name that what uh, then the whatever defined in his base interface view in that case they have changed to the currency code but as soon as you change the this particular different alias name that particular uh, annotation which you have defined in base application based on this name where the currency and code are both with underscore and here currency code is different so it will not work here so we have to again define those annotations so that is the reason i have written but the reference element is alias in the projected entity we have given the alias name then the we have to redefine the annotation of the projection we have to each and every session each and every annotation which is defined for this particular currency code we have to redefine here otherwise it will not work so if you are giving the alias name in your projection view you have to redefine or uh, you have to make sure that you all the annotation again you have to redefine in your projection view otherwise it will not work if you are not renaming then all the all the annotations will be propagated to your projection view and it will automatically work so this is one and this is the syntax of the projection view i just took from the uh, standard documentation so you can see uh, we have defined root view entity as is and we have to give the projection view name and the important thing provider contract so projection view not only used in the wrap business object there are the different other purpose also we will dis discuss those things and separately in the i will add those videos in the cds view series and that is of now we will discuss provider contract 
should be the transactional query whenever the provider contact is the transactional query then only we have to use uh, then only this particular projection view is uh, used as a uh, wrap business object uh, in the wrap wrap applications and the, as i told you you can define the additional read only associations and redefine the uh, existing associations as well and projects and use and you want to make sure only the sum of the entities should be displayed to the user you can put the VAC condition as well this is the basic annotation and everything like the CDS only some of the important thing which I want to say first the provider contract specify the this is the provider contract I'm talking about this one as I told you this con provider contract can be the transactional query as you can see here transactional query or it can be the transactional interface or it can be the analytical query as of now in our case it should be the transactional query when we are using for the wrap we will discuss the transactional interface and analytical query i think transactional interface in this series only and analytical query in some other series i'm not sure but uh, these are the provider contract and whenever you are using for your application for the wrap purpose then you should give the this particular provider contract in your syntax in as a transactional query for the root entity so it is recommended to provide the contract always specified no runtime specific syntax checks are applied so why we are providing the contract here so for the particular particular projection queue it will check the runtime syntax so for example uh, when we are using for the uh, wrap application that will be the syntax check will be the different and when we are using as a that particular view as a transactional interface then the syntax check will be different and we are using for the analytical query then the syntax check will, will be the different that is the reason we have to define this particular provider contract uh, appropriately in this case our case rep case we should always pro provide this transactional underscore query so last query child entities within the CDS composition tree inherit their parent provider contract and the specific provider contract child entity is not the I will explain I, I I know you are not able to see this particular sentence what it is saying that so whenever we are providing the the root entity this particular provider contract then the and we have some child entities also we no need to define in the child entity this provider contract it will be automatically inherited from the parent entity so we no need to define in, in entire business object that particular provider just we have to define this provider contract in the our projection view of our root entity in the child entity it will be automatically inherited and it will work automatically its syntax change will be done automatically there are some additional info cds pro transactional queries are inherited uh, intended for the modeling of projection layer of a ray business object so we are talking about again the projectional view there are as i told you there are three kind of the projection view one for the transactional query another for the transactional interface and third for the analytical queries so this particular transactional queries are used only for the ray business object and ray and cds projection views is based on the another cds view entity called projection entity so as i told you on 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 top of what we are creating so in this case interface view are called the projected entity in our projection view unlike other cds entities cds transactional query cannot be used in data source of the cds entity so whenever we define this particular transactional query uh, cds projection views this particular cds projection views we can't use in another cds view as a data source that is for the information only but we are no, never going to use in this one and last and most important we can use still for the data element de declaration or table declaration that's it so in this video what we are going to do we are going to create the three important uh, our consumption you can say or projection you can say on top of our uh, interface use gi travel tecum we are create the jetc tecum jetc travel tecum gi booking tecum we will create the jetc booking tecum and gi booking supplement tecum we will create the jis jetc booking supplement project sun view on top of this projected entity this gi will be called the projected entity and jits jetsi will be called the projection view so that's enough about theory lot of theory this all the theories you will see in the system as well let's jump into the system and we will create our three projection views you can see till now we have created the three database table on top of this three database table we have created the three interface views table booking and booking supplement 
I little thing I missed in my last video in the G booking supplement interface view I forgot to add the travel entity association because that we will be needing to display the travel related info in the object page of this particular booking supplement uh, TECM entity. So just we have to do one more thing. I missed that one uh, yeah, in last video just I will do now in front of you guys only so it will be not new for you. So what I will do this is association one to one to my travel entity control C that means root entity I need some information in the root and from the root entity in my the in ob object page of the this particular booking supplement we will see the application then you will realize why we created this one is underscore travel travel and obviously we will need some on condition travel id based on the travel id we are doing dollar projection dot travel id control space should be equal to the travel id from the travel control v dot travel id from the travel step tap one and control f3 to create the projection view what we have to do just we have to right click on the our interface view which we have created gi travel tech cam and you have to create new data definition with reference to the cds view entity only we have to create and we have to give new name jetc uh, travel tech cam okay to travel uh, travel consumption or projection view we can say the projection view and click on next button and you make sure you have to select the appropriate tr and click on next button and when we select the template so here you have to select define projection view that's very important so define projection view and click on finish okay now the projection view is created let me minimize the project explorer let me open this g travel take m here and you can see it's a simple projection view is projection on this particular entity and and we are giving the other information we are getting one error over here root keyword is missing obviously since this is the uh, so here we have to define defined root view entity is projection on so it will remove the error again we are transactional provider contract is expected as i told you so you have to give the uh, control space provider contract uh, enter control space the value can be analytical query sql query transactional interface and transaction in our case it should be transactional query so it's very important to give the provider content contract for the root entity no need to give for the your target entities because it will be automatically a gate from your root entity root view inherited in your uh, child entities will be it automatically inherited this particular provider contract so in the your child entities you no need to give just you have to give in the root entity that is very important and the syntax check will happen as per the our wrap application that's a very important shift f1 and let me do control f3 the same way quickly create the projection views for the booking and the booking supplement as well so let me right click on let me open the project explorer let me right click on booking take em and new data definition we will make some changes in the our consumption view let me create quickly all three then we will do the changes so let me create jetc okay let me copy this only jc booking jedi booking tech is there okay let me rename to jc booking tech term okay that is fine booking projection view we can say projection uh, this all are the projection we are creating for the as of now the processor we will discuss that one but let me create first next and click on next button and you have to select the define this is projection or define view entity as projection let me close finish so we have created the let me minimize this one 
so we have created the projection is projection on this particular entity here is still we are getting the uh, that particular error transactional provider contact contract is mandatory but when we establish the relationship between the root and child entity this uh, this particular warning will automatically remove as of now step step one let me do control f3 okay same way let me create for the booking supplement as well let me create new data definition let's see booking supplement tecm i can create tecm uh booking supplement uh, let i can use instant interface i can give projection projection view managed let me click on next button next button give the appropriate tr obviously and click on finish button and just minimize the project explorer and same way we can activate this as well control f3 one more thing i forget in my the base view as well and the booking supplement so that i have to do uh, i would have got warning but i didn't expose here this particular travel entity in the booking supplement so let me expose control f3 and same thing i have to do the in the projection view as well so that's a very important thing uh, you declared the, i de created the association but i didn't create the uh, that particular association i didn't put in the field list the same reason it didn't come here so i realize here so i have to give the same here as well let me do control f3 it got activated we will establish the relationship between the uh, our consumption view travel consumption view and booking consumption view so as you know currently we are getting this warning the transactional provider contract expected for the projection view to remove this warning or we have to uh, in our interface use uh, base use we can say we already established the relationship between the parent and child but in our uh, projection layer we didn't establish the relationship so to do that we have to use little bit different syntax so for example in the travel entity uh, we know the booking is a child so we have to tell them redirect it to composition child and we have to give the child consumption view important thing because if you give the interface view uh, this will give the error so always we will use in the redirected to syntax always consumption view so this like that we are telling uh, this particular booking is the child of this particular consumption view travel entity in the same way what we have to tell in the booking entity the travel is a parent so we have to use semicolon not colon not semicolon and we have to use same syntax redirected to and we have to use parent and we have to give the parent name obviously consumption view name not the interface view name that's very important now let's activate both the object together okay let's activate both the object i think two object only so activate it it's activating we should not get the error because we have established both the way uh, the relationship in the same manner once it get activated we will establish the relationship between the booking and booking supplement you can see object activated so what we will do uh, we will establish the relationship between booking supplement in the same way we will establish the relationship between the jetc booking supplement tecum and the uh, jetc booking so what we will do we know this particular booking supplement is the child so we can still redirect it to uh, we have to use colon redirect it to composition child and we have to give the com child name control c control v and here we have to give the booking as a redirected to parent and we have to give the parent name in this case this is the parent let's see booking important consumption view only we have to give most of the time we give interface view and we we will get the error so now we have to activate both together same way okay uh okay i think this all are the object this is the only objects so activate 
it got activated successfully it will be activated and one more last thing and since we know already this travel also part of the biz, uh, business object only that also we can tell directly uh, redirected to the uh, jet sea travel taken that's it this even it is not direct parent but it's part of the it's a root entity so we have to tell that uh, it's a part of the business object only so we redirected to the this travel taken so let me do control f3 and this time uh, we can establish the relationship like that uh, between parent and child in the our conjunction or projection view we can see so now you can see those warning got removed which we usually get uh, due to the uh, we didn't maintain this provider contract as a transactional query now we have established the relationship so no need to define in the your child entities this particular uh, provider contract transactional query information in your child entity that information also now removed uh, that information warning we are getting that also got removed so this is how we have established the relationship between uh, the child's and the parent entities i think uh, this video again becoming longer in my next video what we will do on top of this conjunction views we will create we will enhance with the ui metadata so we will create the metadata extension files and we will enhance our ui and we, we will create the ui before going to that video uh, please like this video share this videos and with that thank you and happy learning